it's interesting you, you talked about you know it's, it doesn't last forever and, and uh, i guess in that industry it is true eh? like yeah like in, in gotta, radio i think in radio yeah and in, in tv i think it's a bit different because you can go and be, an, be a director and a producer and you know, if you're in the ecosystem, and I'm really lucky I have people like um, Mulligan and I have people like James McConey that I just ask questions and mm. I'm just like curious and they, they are so open and they're so th- like, they, I think they're so thankful that somebody appreciates that they have gems and I, they want to, I want to pick up on those gems and, and I'm appreciative too. So, but I think in, in radio, because it's, it's not a lot of jobs in radio. Like I had to think about it the other day, like mainstream, like in Auckland, you know, there's new, there's flavor, there's a breeze, there's my, there's more, there's, you know, there's maybe what, I'm going like 20 stations, maybe 25, I guess, on the top. And, you know, each of, each one of those stations have 10, 10 to 15, um, like, on-air people. So there's only 200 jobs, maybe 200, 300 jobs. So I'm very lucky to have one and, you know, like, very fortunate to be able to, you know, speak to, speak to people every morning and, you know, have a have a laugh with my mate, one of my best mates, Regan, mm. and you know, and other people relate with it. But yeah, there is a. I don't want to say there's an expiry date for it, but there is. I reckon, like, yeah, it slowly just creeps up on you, and you don't know. Mm. Yeah, or you know, you get a bit, you know, you get a bit big for your britches, and and uh, you know, opportunities that could have been, you could have executed a little bit extra on those, and you chose not to, and that you know, people see that and they go, eh, maybe not. Yeah. Because how do you work around um, censorship? Bro, we actually, yeah, we had this conversation <laughs> at that um, summit thing, right? You get yeah. used to, I was all right because I was teaching. So I found ways to get around and not, not you know. But, and you know what? Regan is actually, Regan is actually better. He's he's very well trimmed up when it comes to that stuff. He's fine. Gabby, on the other hand, oh my gosh, I got to kind of, <laughs> she's only been with us for like four days, but you know she's she's learning the game too but no we're pretty good we're pretty good i think we're a lot better than what what i thought we would be i was a bit worried but mm. you know i'm still working on being real kind of you know like uh free flowing without swearing and we all are but no Riggs Riggs is great i thought yeah he'd be and we're learning but yeah it wasn't that big of a issue mm. i thought it would be but it wasn't yeah 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 cuz not just swearing it's like what you say too oh, so bro. so We've I'm, I'm just thinking walking on eggshells and sometimes, you know. Yeah, but no, no, no. We just do it until we get in trouble. Eh? Yeah. Like, that's what Louis tells us. <laughs> he says, just do it until you get it until I tell you not to do it. Yeah. And then he'll tell us, like he's, he's talked to us a few times. I'm the I'm the inciter. I will find something and just put it out there and I'll just watch the flames, mm. just watch the fire burn and then see where they're going with it. That's my job is to kind of get things going. And yeah, I naturally I'm like that. I, I, I like to make trouble and then step back and watch what's going on. But um yeah, we, we, we hardly ever we haven't got in big trouble yet. Yeah. We mm. got a couple of like <laughs> oh we did a oh no 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 it's we did a we did a uh, segment called uh, shower thoughts where oh, yeah. <laughs> this is where we kinda got in trouble. This is the first time we were only on for like a, a week. And so we had this thing called shower thoughts and it was all the shower thoughts like have you ever thought like why don't people you know like there's real stoner thoughts. Mm. And um, it was everything was going well, and we put the sound of a shower behind us, and Regan had to go, hey man, I'll drop the soap, I'm just bending over, and then I was like, brother, and they go, oh, oh, Tim, like, you know, I'm like, fuck, here we go, <laughs> and then me being me, you know, I had to back my bro up and keep going with it, and then, uh, yeah, we got a bit of a, hey bro, it's not on, <laughs> and then that was it, that was the last time we ran uh, Shower Thoughts, but yeah, we, yeah, I think people, I think we get away with a lot because we're... I th- I think the people that listen to us know that we we don't mean it with any malice. Mm. Like we're not trying to you know like like that joke there. We're not trying to you know bad uh, bad mouth that LGBTQ community, but you know it's just a little gag. And sometimes we have to be a little bit war- uh, like uh, wary. Mm. And but other than that, you know like we do we get away with stuff because that's our characters. Yeah, we we like to dance on the dance on the tightrope a bit. But yeah, it's fun though. It's fun. It's yeah. fun to find out whether. Where the line is, you know? Because I'm wondering, like, when you and Regan create stuff for your show or anything on radio, yeah. like, how does how how does how does the network or your bosses know that's going to be? They don't. They, they they just they just. Or they, they, they know it's going to hit. Yeah, they they trust that we're not going to be like Louis. would trust that we're not going to be talking about. 
I was going to say dildos, but we have talked about dildos. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like, like we're not going to go over the edge. And like we've had a full year of not doing that. And, it, you know, that's a full year of us going, hey, like, you know, you can trust us. We, we'll be out the gate and we'll say a f- couple of things. Like, okay, here's one that we said the other day, right? So there was a story, and you get really good at telling stories while you're on. Okay, that, so there was a story about a man in Chicago that had a, um, got pulled over for a traffic infringement. And he gave the, he gave the officer, this is a true story, he gave the officer a get out of jail free card from the Monopoly. And so you look at that story, so, you know, it's a basic story. And then you have to have what comes off that, right? So it was like, uh, so if you had a card to get out of anything, what would it be? So, you know, that it goes over the things. <laughs> and so we're like, you know, the text line is, our text line is undefeated when it comes to like out the gate shit. Mm. Like we can't <laughs> say like some out the gate shit, eh? Anyway, so we say a couple and we, you know, we take some of the words out and we mucked around. And then I said, um, I said, oh, so Gabby, what would you want your card to be? She goes, oh, you know, just to pay all my bills. And then I said, well, isn't that your, your husband's credit card? And then that was like, oh. <laughs> and then I asked Regan, I go, Regan, like, what would you want? And then he goes, oh, for someone to do my morg- uh, my um, washing. And I go, wait a minute, isn't that what... Isn't that why you got married? And I was like, you know, like it's like very borderline mm. being disrespectful and misogynistic. But at the same time, our 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 audience know we're just doing it just to get a bit of a giggle, mm. and we're not doing it like it's not like I don't seriously think that. But yeah, they're pretty good about that. But we're we're ex, you know experimenting with that mm. kind of stuff all the time. Every day is a new experience. Uh, experiment, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 coping off the early mornings there. Hey, Man, you get it? used to it. Yeah, you get used to it. You know, like the naps help when you have a nap in the middle of the day. Like today, I knew I had this on, so I went home after work, finished about 11, went, had a two-hour nap, hour and a half nap, got up, did my um, Krago's Wild Shoot and came over because I knew I had to be late. But you have to be pretty on it, onto it if you know that you've got stuff on. So, yeah, so. But nah, it, it, it took about a good six months to get used to it, but. Yeah, I'm an early, I, I like to get in as early as I can, sort my shit out, make sure everything's on. Because I'm the anchor and the, me and the producer work together. And so we have to kind of make sure that shit's done. And then, you know, Riggs will pop in at 5.30 and 5.15, 5 5.30 and same with Gabby. So, you know, it's, um yeah. And again, it comes down to that work ethic. Oh, work ethic. I just want to be the best at what I can be for this short amount of time that it might might happen, you know. And you guys are busy, man. Like I said, before we jumped on the mics, Regan's always on social media. Yeah, you're Regan's you're on, always yeah, on TV. On. There's, a bit, there's a bit of a difference <laughs> between me and Regan, okay? Regan gets to go out and shoot with his mates. He does those things. That's busy. Yeah, that's busy. But uh, I have to go and, you know, edit and fucking write scripts and things mm. like that. So, but we're both, yeah, you are right. We're both busy, but different ways. Mm. And the producer, Coach West, he's busy too. Like, he's doing music and he's doing acting and... On top of that, he's doing all this stuff and same with Gabby. So, but it's great that we have the morning so we can just get it done and then off we go. Yeah. So we have a little debrief and then we're out after about 11, 12 30, or 10 30, 11. Yeah.